Hello! Welcome to Grant Writing 101, Video 3 or 5, Preparing the CV, Biography and References. My name is Jeffrey Tan and I'm a theatre director, drama educator and creative producer who is based in Singapore. Grant Writing 101 is a series of five bite-sized videos commissioned by the National Arts Council and developed by the Singapore Drama Educators Association. I wrote the scripts based on my experience with grants and I will be your guide in the videos. These five videos are to help the independent artists or collectives apply for grants or residencies locally or internationally. In video one, we looked at understanding the grant context. In video two, we looked at managing the grant timeline. In this video three, we will focus on preparing the CV, biography and references. What is the difference between CV, biography and references? What is a CV? CV is an abbreviation of the Latin words curriculum vitae which means life course. A professional CV provides a summary and a good overview of someone's life. Your CV includes your education background and qualifications, work experience, skills and important qualities. What is the role of a CV in grant writing? A CV highlights your skills and experiences in the area you are applying the grant for. A CV demonstrates the value you can bring to the client. Keep only the relevant and essential information. Do not include what you did in kindergarten. Therefore, it is important to tailor your CV to every grant application. Preparing the CV Here are some common sections of a typical CV. 1. Contact information 2. Personal Statement 3. Work Experience Were you a full-time employee or project staff? 4. Skills 5. Education 6. Awards 7. Referees Under the contact information, be sure to have your name, your address and your contact details. That means you need to include your telephone number, email addresses. You'll be surprised by how many people in the rush of things forget to include these extremely important details. Date of birth. This is optional. Some jobs or roles are not specific to certain age groups, but it is important for actors and educators. Personal statement. A 50 to 80 word summary of your goals in life and craft. Why do you do what you do. A CV must capture the reader in the first 20 seconds. Most administrators scan the entire CV, so the key words and qualities relevant to the grant must pop up immediately. I've also heard of a story of a large corporation which scans applicant CVs for keywords. So if the keywords don't show up, they might not even read your CV. Keywords such as leader, responsible, initiate, performances, residencies. Work experience. Be sure to include your job title and the company. Month, month, year to month, month, year. Achievement and task. List of performances and exhibitions. Most recent to the least recent. The year, the role, the production or exhibition, and the company. List achievements rather than responsibilities. Keep to the last three to five years of work. Skills. List only relevant skills. Excel, PowerPoint, videography, social media. Education. Most recent first, followed by the older ones. Awards, most recent first, followed by the older ones. References or referees, available upon request. 
but be sure to alert your referees if you intend to list them in your CV. Look and feel. Keep it professional. Don't overuse the bold and underline functions. Once you are ready and happy with the CV, put it through the Am I the One test. As you read the CV, ask yourself, Am I the one? Am I the one? Are the projects listed relevant to the grant that you're applying for? Does your experience demonstrate alignment to the grant? Especially for new grants, the organizations may want to showcase success stories. So ask yourself, will your past projects be a good showcase example? Please keep the CV to two pages maximum. What is a biography? It is an account of one's life written in third person. For your biography, you would need to write it yourself. What is in a biography? It tells the story of your goals, skills, experiences, and achievements. A biography is very different from a CV where you just list your experience. The biography tells the story of you. Thus, you need to be concise about your skills, experiences, and give strong examples of relevant experiences for the residency or funding grant that you're applying for. Some grants limit you to 200 characters or 200 words. There is a world of difference. Thus, be critical and stick to the characters or word limit. Some grant portals do not allow you to submit the application if you exceed the character or word limit. What are references? References are people who can talk about your work experience, work habits, character and skills. You should choose your references carefully. What are the different types of references? There's work reference, people who are able to highlight your transferable skills, there's academic reference, people who are able to comment about your research and writing skills. And then there's character reference, people who are able to share about your values and people relations. Letter of recommendation. Sometimes you might need a letter of recommendation. So what is this letter of recommendation? It is to help people to help you. What is the role and grant you are applying for? Highlight your relevant skills, experience, and achievements. Letter of support, or LOS. For grant applications in Australia, there's a culture of including a LOS. In Singapore, you can also include a LOS, or letter of testimonial of their experience working with you, and why you are the appropriate person for the grant you are applying for. You need at least two LOS to demonstrate how your project is already supported. One LOS from the organization inviting you, another LOS from your collaborator. The LOS should convince the reader to support your grant application. So build in time for your references, letter of recommendation, and letter of support to get back. Sometimes, you may need to draft the LOS yourself. And the to and fro, finalizing it, takes time. Please, 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 please. Spell check. Grammar check. Formatting check. Ensure consistent font sizes and page numbers. How do you feel reading what you have read? Now that you've prepared your CVs, biographies and references or letter of support, you are ready to move on to the next stage of writing the budget and the grant. See you at the next video for where you'll learn writing the budget and grant application.